Across a vast belt extending from Senegal and Angola in the west to Madagascar in the east, cassava is grown by subsistence farmers in a wide range of environmental conditions. Its edible roots are a staple in most of sub-Saharan Africa, providing up to half the daily calories of 200 million people. Because the roots can remain in the ground in edible condition for up to two years, the hardy cassava has earned a reputation as the famine reserve plant. In the early 1970s, a crisis came to Central Africa in the form of the cassava mealybug. This tiny pest threatened to destroy as much as 80% of the cassava crop in some areas, making widespread famine a real possibility. Such was the situation facing a young, newly arrived Swiss entomologist, Dr. Hans Herren, our 1995 recipient of the World Food Prize. Uh, yes, I think this award uh, is uh, very timely, uh, certainly very unexpected uh, from my end, and I think it's the greatest thing which happened not only to, to Africa, but also to biological control. It, will, uh, it shows that this method of controlling pests is very important, um, can have great success, and the recognition uh, through the prize of this activity is just tremendous. In addition, this crisis threatened to become an environmental disaster through the widespread and largely ineffective application of pesticides. In the face of this mounting crisis, Dr. Herren offered a natural solution. Find the cassava mealybug in its original native habitat, somewhere in the vast area between Southern California and Northern Argentina, identify its natural enemies, and then import them to Africa. A biological control program of this magnitude had never before been attempted, but Dr. Herren remained undaunted. The first break came in 1981, when a cassava mealybug was discovered in Paraguay. Several potential predators were then collected and quarantined at a facility in Great Britain. The first natural enemy processed through quarantine was a wasp the size of a match head which kills the cassava mealybug, and only the cassava mealybug, by laying eggs into the mealybugs and by feeding on them. Dr. Herren had the natural enemy he wanted, but would it survive in Africa? The wasps not only survived, but flourished, attacking mealybugs as far as three miles away. Dr. Herren next devised a breeding program and a means to distribute the wasps by airplane over the vast infested area. Any lingering doubts about his plan's effectiveness were rapidly dispelled. Within five months, wasps in one test area had spread as far as 120 miles. Over the next seven years, Dr. Herren and his team effectively brought the cassava mealybug under control in 30 countries. Beginning as the sole researcher on the project, Dr. Herren successfully developed and implemented the Africa-wide Cassava Mealybug Biological Program, a project requiring extensive collaboration among many institutions and scientists in Africa, Europe, and the Americas.